Hey class, this evening we're looking at lesson 8.4, fraction and whole number division. So let's start off by looking at our essential question. How can you divide fractions by solving a related multiplication sentence? So let's take a look at our word problem by unlocking the problem. It says three friends share a one fourth pound block of fudge equally. What fraction of a pound of fudge does each friend get? So let's pull out our division equation from that. It says one-fourth divided by three. So we get that because it's a one-fourth pound block of fudge and there are three friends. So now let's break it apart. It says let the rectangle represent a one pound block of fudge that is this rectangle here. Divide the rectangle into fourths and then divide each fourth into three equal parts. So you've got it into four pieces and then we have to divide each one fourth piece into three equal parts. So let's do that now. Okay. Now you see that we have each one-fourth piece divided into one, two, three pieces. So the rectangle is now divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, into twelve equal parts. When you divide one-fourth into three equal parts, you are finding one of three equal parts or one-third of one-fourth. So now we're going to shade one-third of one-fourth. So we come over here and we shade one-third, color in one, of one-fourth. Now, the shaded part is one-twelfth, because now we have twelve equal parts and we only shaded one. So the shaded part is one twelfth of the whole rectangle. So now it says to complete the number sentence. So each friend gets one twelfth of a pound of fudge. Because we see one fourth divided by three equals one third times one fourth. And that equals one twelfth. Now let's look at the next example. It says Brad has nine pounds of ground turkey to make turkey burgers for a picnic. How many one, th one third pound turkey burgers can he make? So now we divide nine divided by one third because it says that he has nine pounds and each burger is going to be one third pound. So the first step we do is to draw nine rectangles to represent each pound of ground turkey. And then we will divide each rectangle into thirds. So let's go ahead and divide each one into thirds. So then it says when you divide the nine, because that's how many we started off with, to represent the nine pounds of ground turkey, into thirds, you are finding the number of thirds in nine rectangles or finding nine groups of three. So there are, if we counted up all the thirds in these triangles, you will see that there are 27 thirds. So now we're going to complete the number sentence. So Brad can make 27 one-third pound turkey burgers. And we get that from our equation over here. 9 divided one-third equals 9 times 3 and we know that 9 times 3 equals 27. So now let's take a look at a couple more examples. 
And we're going to connect this back to what we just learned because you have learned to use a model and write a multiplication sentence to solve a division problem. So now let's look at our next two examples. It says 1 fourth divided by 2 equals 1 eighth. So 1 half times 1 fourth equals 1 eighth. And as we're looking at this model, we will see that we divided it into four equal groups, and then with each group we divided it into two. And then we shade one piece, and that is equal to our one eighth. If we look at example two, it says four divided by one half equals eight, or we know that four times two equals eight because we have four rectangles. Each rectangle has been divided into half, and if we look at how many halves we have, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that is our answer. So look at example A. Describe how the model shows that dividing by two is the same as multiplying by one half. Well, the model in example A shows that one-fourth divided into two equal groups is one-eighth, and it shows that one-half of one-fourth is one-eighth. Now we're going to look at example B. It says to describe how the model shows that dividing by one-half is the same as multiplying by two. Well, the model in example B shows that there are eight halves in four holes, and it shows that four groups of two is eight. So when you divide whole numbers, the quotient is always less than the dividend. For example, the quotient for six divided by two is less than six, and the quotient for two divided by three is less than two. So now we're going to complete the try this to learn how the quotient compares to the dividend when you divide fractions and whole numbers. So let's look at our try this. For the two expressions below, we each will have a quotient that is greater than its dividend. So let's look at a half divided by three. And then it has three divided by one half. Which of these two is going to have a quotient that is greater than its dividend? And remember, the quotient is the answer to a division problem. What you're dividing is going to be your dividend. The number you divide by is your divisor. Well, the correct answer is going to be 3 divided by 1 half because the quotient, or answer to a division problem, represents the number of parts, or halves, because we're dividing by a half, that make up the whole number three. So if we were to take three circles and cut each circle in half, we're going to see that the number of halves that we have now is one, two, three, four, five, six, which is greater than our dividend. So when I divide a fraction by a whole number, the quotient is less than the dividend when I divide a whole number by a fraction less than one. The quotient is greater than the dividend. So fill it in with greater than. Now let's take a pass a look at our password for tonight's lesson. You need to solve this and bring the answer with you to class tomorrow. So Jessica served four pizzas at her party. Each pizza was divided into eight pieces and everyone at the party received two pieces. If there were four pieces left over, how many people were at the party? Is it A14, B15, C16, or D18? Be sure to solve this out and bring it with you to class tomorrow as your password. See you then.